dear learners welcome to school of commerce uh, today we are discussing um, we are discussing today time bill of money part 3 i uh, hope you watched our the previous two lectures uh, if you haven't watched yet uh, i would like to request you please watch the previous two and then come into the three i will discuss to the uh, how to determine future value for uh, before starting i am clearing you that uh, this video or this class uh, is applicable for only the students of class 9 and 10 those who are studying in english version as there were no english version classes on youtube of our classes 9 and 10 in bangladesh uh, so we are taking the responsibility to take their english classes let's start future value future value means the money we will get tomorrow or after some times here is the formula for single period single period means the amount of money will work out or the transaction will work out for two times one time you will take and one time you will give i repeat one time you will pay and one time you will receive the two times if the two transactions make for two times that is we are calling single period and the formula single period is future value is equal to present value into 1 plus i power n here we denote a pp for present value fp for future value i for rate of interest and for number of years let's um, uh, make a solution of a question the question is if masood invest if masood invest taka 1000 for 2 years at 5% interest how much money will he get at the end of 2 years at the end of 2 years uh, first of all you have to understand the question mr masood he has 1000 taka and he wants to invest it for 2 years and he invested it for 2 years at 5% interest and he wants to know how much money will he get at the end of two years okay uh, we use this formula uh, for determining the value first of all you have to write it um, here uh, the value we have to write here pv or, uh, means present value is 1000 taka and um, i is equal to five percent the question we are saying or 0.05 you can determine it uh, from the calculator uh, like this calculator five division hundred five division hundred um, what person uh, the question has no problem you just write the percentage uh, the value of the person and then division hundred yes 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 then n and we are seeing in the question that uh, n is two years so n is two years and what is the value of fv fv is equal to what now we have to determine uh, to follow the steps and and we are we will put the value in this formula In this formula we have to write this same formula here here pv is 1000 i is 0 0.05 0 0.05 and n so first of all we have to make the value uh, we are writing again 1000 into 1.05 or 2 1.05 or 2 so uh, we will write here the equation to the equation symbol Uh, 
and now we will calculate 1.05 power 2 what is in the calculator 1 plus 0 0.15 is equal to 1.15 let's power for 2 power for 2 power for 2 results 1.1025 1.1025 and we will multiply 1.1025 with a track of 1000 and the result will get into 1000 the result is 1100.5 1 and 1000 1102.5 that means we can say that after five years after sorry after two years after two years mr masood will get 1102 i mean 1102.5 taka and uh, this is the uh, value we are we, we got from the formula uh, 1102 taka uh, he will get after two years and um, this is the system of determining future value for single period now we come to the multiple period now we come to the multiple period multiple period means uh, the transaction of uh, money will work out more than two times more than two times uh, that means uh, you will invest uh, a certain amount of money and you will uh, get the interest um, uh, not for the two times not for the two times uh, more than two times uh, um, there uh, we are called it multi compounding multi compounding more than one period uh, it will compound the interest and uh, it could be um, semi annually or half yearly both the words same half yearly means half of the year half of the year means six months as we calculate all the accounting period as 12 months or one year uh, that means a half yearly that means six months after six months one time and the other six months one time one plus one is equal to two uh, if the question has the word semi-annually or um, half yearly uh, we have to understand that it is the formula of multiple period and of course m m will come into the formula m will come into the formula you are seeing uh, the formula uh, in this box um, uh, the previous one uh, formula uh, there was no M uh, under I and uh, this formula M is under I so uh, you, are, you, will, you will have to write um, I by M M into N here you can see the formula is um, clearly I by M M into M uh, you will not um, uh, you will not have to uh, memorize this formula if you uh, if you have memorized the previous formula it will enough for it just I by M uh, M into N how will you understand that M will come if the question has the words uh, remember semi annually or half yearly half yearly semi annually quarterly monthly if semi annually uh, we have bold it uh, see semi annually semi annual means half of the year one time and the rest half of the years one time one plus one two that is why we write it m is equal to two if there is not semi annually um, monthly we will write m is equal to 12 because monthly means in one month one time that means 12 month 12 times and uh, if there the word quarterly quarterly or um, we mean to say after three months then we can write m is equal to four m is equal to four uh, let's uh, um, read the question if Masud invest taka 1000 for two years at five percent interest compounding semi-annually compounding semi-annually um, uh, by this word semi annually uh, we have already understood that uh, we have to use the formula of multiple period of future value how much money will he get will he get will means future will means future will he get at the end of two years um, he has one taka 1000 as we know previous one um, and he invest it for two years at five percent interest compounding semi annually then uh, we have to calculate the value after two years of one taka 1000 now uh, we put the formula of multiple period uh, fb is equal to pb 1 plus i power m uh, mn here pb is uh, already 1000 taka i is equal to 5 percent 0 0.05 and uh, two years fb is equal to what and m is equal to two uh, semi annually that is why we write it m is equal to 
two. Now uh, we um, we put the value uh, in the formula. Uh, PV one thousand one plus uh, one zero point zero five. I I I's value and M's value is two. That is why we write it two into two. Here uh, we will calculate point zero five by two. Point zero five division two. Result is zero point zero two five. Zero point zero two five. Zero point zero two five. Zero point zero two five, and this two into two is equal to four. We write it four, and we will power it uh, by four plus one, resulting power two. One point zero five zero six two five. One point zero five zero six two five. One point zero five zero six two five. And uh, if we multiply, if we if we multiply into one thousand, we will get one zero five zero point six two five. One zero five zero point six two. Then uh, uh, we have calculated the value. If we invested uh, taka one thousand two years five percent into compound compounding same annually, then he will get uh, taka one one thousand five zero point six two taka one zero five zero point six two taka. Let's recheck one zero one zero five zero point six two five taka. Uh, maybe uh, we have calculated the wrong. Uh, extremely sorry. Uh, we have a power four. We have, we, we have um, power two. Then we have to we have a, we have made a mistake. Um, one point zero, sorry. One point zero two five power four. Actually, four. One point one zero three eight one. One point one zero. One point one zero three eight one. Uh, and into one thousand one one zero three point eight one 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 zero three point eight one. Uh, sorry for the mistakes. Two R is human, as you know. Uh, so the if you invest at like one thousand semi annually. Um, he will get 1103.81 taka after two years. So um, now uh, we can say that we are able to calculate single period and a multiple period um, for future value. I hope you all understand our lectures. Uh, if you do not understand any of uh, my point, uh, please comment us below or you can um, ask your questions or um, um, ask your requirements uh, in our Facebook group, School of Commerce. I um, hope you will enjoy it and uh, uh, hope you will watch our the next videos and um, also if you haven't uh, subscribed our channel yet uh, please subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon uh, share with, share this video with your friends those who are not and um, uh, still know uh, about this channel please share this video to your friends till then allah Hafiz.